All right, we're back uh, working on the Jeep and um, we are gonna do uh, the base for the floor today. So in the last episode, we got everything out. We got the seats installed and uh, we got the back cleaned out. Um, so right now that's what we look like. We got the seats folded down. I've got some just foil insulation uh, on some of the panels just to try and keep the noise down. And uh, we got ourselves a sheet of plywood and so what we're going to do is we're going to cut out a rough uh, opening. So this is to the edge of this lip, we're 34 inches. And then it's thirty-nine inches um, to where the body starts to go like that. So what we're going to do is we're just going to cut a piece of plywood real fast. It's uh, 34 inches by 39 inches. And then uh, we will start to kind of shape it because I want it to slide around the seat brackets. So I want it to come all the way up in here and but leave these open. So we got to make cutouts for that. And then I want it to come into this recess and fit nicely right like that. And then we're going to cut out a hole probably about right here. Um, that, uh, to be able to access the stuff on the inside because the fridge is going to go on that side. So let's get that piece of plywood cut real quick. It tracks off everything and it gives me nice clean cuts. All right, that gives us our 34 by 39 inch base. You'll notice that it's, uh, it looks like oriented strand board, but it's actually Advantix oriented strand board. It's made specifically for subfloors. Um, it's stiff, it's got a high resin count, it's water resistant and uh, super durable. And uh, it's got a real good holding power. And um, I've used it in other areas as a fantastic uh, substrate uh, for what we're trying to do. that slides in there uh, really nicely so we will uh, make some cutouts for these pieces right there and uh, slide it in the rest of the way and then we'll trim the front side so we're just gonna mark the sides of where these pieces are and then we'll put a square on them and cut them out jigsaw that looks like from about the edge there is about four inches so we'll make our cutouts about four and a half inches uh, to make sure that there's plenty of room our square All right, so there are the cutouts. We'll just get a jigsaw real fast and make those cuts. So we slid right next to the seat brackets. So I'm real happy with that. So now we just need to cut out this section right here and that'll get us finished up. All right, so that fits there. That drops in really nicely. 
And then we have, like I said, the, the way that is right there. So let's set the seat up to make sure that everything That is going to fit just how I want it to. Excellent. So let's get that fridge slide in and see uh, what that looks like. All right, so one of the biggest things is to make sure that this fits in the back and that you can still open it. Now there's gonna be a shelf all the way across here. But let's make sure that the door shuts. Perfect. All right, that is gonna work. I love it. And then this tray is going to go. Just like so. All right, so that's, that's going to work out the way that I want. And then that gives me roughly 20 inches of space on this side uh, to do something with. I think. What we're going to do is we're going to put a panel right here that goes up. Um, that all the electronics will be right here in this area. Um, so I can just fold this seat down and access all the electronic stuff. I think that's going to work out the way I want it to. Okay, well, uh, that, that worked out a little bit uh, better than I thought it was going to. So um now that we have the floor in place we know that the fridge is going to fit and where the fridge slide is going to go um, i'm going to figure out uh where all the mounting bolts come up through the floor and we'll mark those and then uh drill them out and then uh so we'll recess those down into uh the the subfloor and then uh figure out where i want that cut out to be to access the uh, storage underneath all right, so we made a little access hatch. So that'll give us access to all of that. And uh, fits just right down in there like that. So we'll put a, a backing plate right here so that this has a stopper uh, for it. So um, we don't have to worry about it going down, but that gives us full access to that whole area. So that worked out pretty good. All right, just a piece of, uh, wood later and a couple screws and it fits right perfectly all right so we got it done all the uh, factory floor bolts are in and then we rounded off this edge to keep it from splintering so uh, we'll get the uh, fridge mocked up here real quick all right so we got that done I just made this radius on both sides. So that slides just like that and fits in nice perfectly. So let's put this slide in. All right, we pre-drilled the holes and we're just gonna use the same uh, faster than we've done before.
Excellent. Well, I think that's going to be uh, it for today. So um, we uh, got a lot accomplished, got the platform in, uh, got the hole cut out so that we can still access uh, the cubby below. That worked out really nice. We got the fridge installed and the slider in place. And I'm super happy with that. So um, the next piece to this is now that all that is test fit, uh, we're gonna work on the panel that'll hold our electrical stuff. So we're gonna put the DC to DC charger back in, the battery and um, the fuse block so that we can power the fridge, power the air compressor, power the interior and exterior lights, uh, get those switches hooked back up. And um, yeah, so super happy. Um, it's really hot out today, so, but we did get everything accomplished that we wanted and uh, yeah, happy with it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, please consider subscribing if you're not a subscriber. Uh, we're gonna continue to build this out. We'll eventually take it all back out, paint it um, and everything else to uh, finish it off, but uh, good steps so far. Thanks again for watching. This is Dan from Fisher Deep Adventures and uh, we'll see you on the next video.